Proteins containing more than one covalently bound heme are abundant in Schuonella onidensis. Frequently, the hemes are arranged in close proximity, within or across proteins, to form molecular wires like the one shown here. These wires allow electrons to cross long distances, but they can also terminate within the active site of an enzyme to allow the heme to play an essential role in catalysis. And this is the situation that is found within CIMA. This cartoon shows that CIMA is associated with the microbial inner membrane. It catalyzes quinol oxidation at the periplasmic face of that membrane and supports anaerobic respiration by releasing electrons to various enzyme systems that are dedicated to reducing terminal electron acceptors within and outside of the cell. A model for the structure of CIMA shows four hemes that are positioned to move electrons from the quinol oxidation site, here occupied by the analogue HQNO, to the region of the protein where terminal reductases will bind to receive electrons. To probe the chemical nature and redox properties of the CIMA hemes, we have studied solutions of the protein with optical and magnetic spectroscopies. A heme with histidine and hydroxide as the axial ligands forms the quinol oxidation site. The three additional hemes have axial ligands provided by two histidine side chains. All of the hemes cycle reversibly between the ferric and ferrous states in redox activity that spans 300 millivolts. The properties of CIMA were explored further by protein film voltammetry. Here, the red voltammogram shows the redox properties of the hemes are not perturbed by adsorbing CIMA on the electrode. When liposomes containing menaquinone 7 are introduced into the experiment, the voltammogram changes to show catalytic reduction waves, illustrated here by the blue voltammograms that reflect the CIMA dependent reduction of menaquinone. Parallel experiments performed with menadione or ubiquinone 10 instead of menaquinone 7 showed no evidence for the catalytic reduction of these other quinones. We can conclude that CIMA selects for naphthoquinone substrates carrying a hydrophobic chain. It's notable that the voltammetry shows no evidence for quinol oxidation, which of course is the physiologically significant reaction for CIMA. This is consistent with the thermodynamic description of the enzyme, where the midpoint potentials of the CIMA hemes are more negative than that of the menaquinone menaquinol couple. We have found that CIMA will oxidize quinol when the reaction is coupled to the driving force provided by NADH oxidation through the introduction of an NADH quinone oxidoreductase. It is likely that during anaerobic respiration in Schuonella, the oxidation of molecules such as NADH, hydrogen and formate provides the driving force that's necessary for the CIMA-dependent oxidation of menaquinol. In closing, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the research that I've just summarised, and especially the BBSRC and the US Department of Energy for financing this research.